One of the questions which I'm always asked by my customer is, which Mocha Master is the right one for me and are they even worth it? Technifor machines have been handmade in Holland since 1968 and they all meet SCA Golden Cup standard. If there is a branding war for this type of coffee machine, most reviewers out there put the Mocha Master as one of the winners. Mocha Master are even on sale at MoMA in New York. The KBG Select is a twist on the classic Mocha Master KBG. Any machine that carries the G means the brew basket has an auto drip stop valve that cuts off the flow as soon as the carafe is removed. This is a convenient feature for anyone who wants to set it and forget it. The downside of automating this means results can vary as you reduce the volume of coffee. This model answers this by including a front selector switch. When you select half a jug, water throughput and extraction times are extended. So it will make 6 cups just as reliably as 10 cups. If you are set on experimenting, choose a Technifoam machine without the G in the model name and you get full manual control. Other refinements are the improved 9 hole outlet pipe for more even extraction. How long can I keep my coffee with the select? The glass carafe and the hot plate will keep the coffee at an optimal temperature of 80 to 85 degrees Celsius for up to an hour. This is possible because the heating element for the hot plate is independent of the element used for brewing. It's hard to imagine a kitchen or pantry where a Techniform machine would look out of place. With the Mocha Master KBG Select, you have a selection of 24 colors. That said, this is not a fashion brand. All their machines brew at between 91 to 96 degrees Celsius. The bloom extraction times are always optimal and they come with a limited 5 years warranty. So, is this the machine for you? If you like pour over, insist on a barista quality bloom and extraction. If you need at least 6 cups and you're going to drink the coffee within an hour of the brew, then this machine is perfect. This model, the KBGT, is found making batch brews everywhere. I have customers who have no trouble keeping a brew drinkable up to 3 hours from brewing. The double wall thermal steel flask needs preheating with hot water but it keeps you mobile. Lastly, this is the Mocha Master 1 cup and it makes 300ml of sweet drip coffee in 4 minutes. This is a response to the need for a smaller volume at the same quality, perfect for a couple. I think once people start to travel again, we'll be seeing this machine in boutique hotels at Airbnb locations. It takes a variety of mug shapes and it's available in lots of cool colours. Earlier today, we put these machines through their paces. Okay, today we have Yon and Harman to do a blind test. We already brewed the coffee an hour ago. Uh, we just brewed the one cup five minutes ago. We're going to start with uh, the blue cup first. We're going to move on to the green cup and the white cup and then we see, you know, is there a difference. The blue one... Is this one? No, this one. <laughs> the green one is this one. Mm. The, the white, white one, one is this one. Yeah, quite Actually, yeah. it was very difficult to taste the difference, right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, but it's still quite distinct also. Like, yes, tell yeah, very the distinct. The body on the one cup is a bit heavier. It's, it's, it's quite interesting. I think partly because it's not an apple to apple comparison. The Select and the KBGT, we, we brew at one litre. Uh, for the one cup, it's only one third of that, which is about 330 ml. The Select and the KBGT, it's pretty, pretty close. Very, very close. The hot plate does make a little bit of difference because it actually keeps uh, the coffee hot uh, within an hour. You can't really taste the stainless steel uh, thermos. That, yeah. That's the, the myth about that. People say, oh, there's a metallic taste, but yeah. the truth with stainless steel is you wash it properly, there's no residual smell. So which one is your favourite? I prefer the Select because it was a bit tastier. This was also very tasty, but it was lighter on the body, but the Select had a more syrupy feel to mm -hmm. the coffee. So I actually prefer the KGBT because I felt that the coffee was brown and sweet. However, the Select actually has better body. Let's analyze the plug. So one cup actually has a pretty good even wall and an even extraction. So the KBGT plug and the Select plug is very similar because they both use the 9 hole shower pipes that distribute the water evenly on the brew. The Mocha Master is really known for its even extraction and very consistent temperature stability which is very important when it comes to brewing coffee. Before I go, make sure you use freshly ground coffee. When it comes to taste, even a hand grinder is better than pre-ground coffee. If you want to get started with grinders, the Barraza Encore is an excellent entry-level machine. Check in with us again soon for more reviews.